Surprise update today with Disney Cruise Line posting starting pricing for Disney Wishes inaugural season. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Anne with more of your Disney's and we have a very surprising update today. This has never been done before, but Disney Cruise has posted the starting pricing for each sailing by category for the Disney Wishes inaugural season. They literally have never posted prices before. They're also having advanced book dates, so this is good for you to know. If you are a Platinum Castaway Club member with 25 or more sailings, you can start booking by by phone only on Monday, May 17th. Platinum Castaway Club members with 20 or more sailings will be Tuesday, May 18th, and Platinum members with 15 or more sailings will be Wednesday, May 19th. They don't typically do this. There's gonna be so much demand that they're tiering the Platinum members this year. Gold Castaway members will be able to begin booking on Monday, May 24th. DVC and Adventure Insiders are Tuesday, May 25th. Silver Castaway Club members are Wednesday, May 26th. And General Public can begin booking on Thursday, May 27th. Be aware these start online at 8 a.m. Eastern Time or you can contact your travel agent. There's another exciting announcement today, the Storybook Suite in the Sky. Disney Cruise Line has a first of its kind funnel suite aboard the Disney Wish. This was just released today with these details. I will go into more depth on the interior, ocean view, and veranda and concierge rooms in a minute. But it's super exciting to see a whole new style of stateroom. This is a Wish Tower Suite. It's the first of its kind and it's set in the forward funnel of the Disney Wish. This elegant design is inspired by Moana, incomparable ocean views, and premium Disney service. This 1,966 square foot penthouse in the sky will be a celebration of the enchantment and spirit of the sea. This first of its kind accommodation will be Disney Cruise Line's most unique suite yet. The living room will be flanked by an open dining area, a large pantry, and a bar, and with extraordinary views across the upper decks to the horizon through the expansive two-story window wall. Laura Cabo, the portfolio creative executive for Walt Disney Imagineering, states, each of our theme parks has a majestic icon that captures our guests' imaginations. On a Disney cruise ship, that beacon of magic is our signature red funnels. For the first time ever, guests aboard the Disney Wish will be able to book an incredible two-story suite actually located within one of our funnels. With the Wish Tower Suite, we are creating a breathtaking experience that continues our tradition of the most unique and enchanting accommodations at sea. Another great thing about the staterooms on the Disney Wish is that literally 90% of them will offer ocean views and over 70% of them will have verandas. That's really an increase from their other two classes of ships. Guests can expect the royal treatment while staying in the Wish Tower Suite, marked by the expert service of personal concierge team, an elegant array of curated experiences, a delightful selection of daily treats and a private elevator. The Wish Tower Suite will feature plush fret duvets, bed linens, bath towels, and robes, motorized sheer and blockout curtains, a wet bar stocked with water and sodas, complimentary internet access, and a deluxe menu of hypoallergenic feather and therapeutic memory foam pillows. Guests will also enjoy VIP access to the concierge lounge and sun deck with two whirlpools, a waiting pool, a bar, lush lounge furniture, and the supreme service of a pool deck host. Overflowing with Disney Enchantment, State rooms aboard the Disney Wish are a luxurious, peaceful hideaway at sea, designed for families, featuring ample space, plenty of storage, and upscale amenities. The tradition of Disney storytelling can be found inside all staterooms on the Disney Wish, thanks to artwork and subtle touches that celebrate iconic elements of Disney films. From magic castles to enchanted woodlands to the spirit of the sea. Designed with families in mind, Disney Cruise Line staterooms aboard the Disney Wish are among the foremost in the industry. Each stateroom is equipped with innovations that ensure the ultimate in comfort and relaxation for guests of all ages. From an imaginative inside retreat to an abundantly appointed suite, all of the world-class accommodations feature artwork and subtle decorative touches that celebrate iconic animated films and characters. Letting you and your loved ones stay connected to the magic of Disney storytelling while traveling the high seas in high style. With more space than you'd find in same-class rooms on most other cruise ships, the standard is superior and subtly infused with delightful Disney storytelling elements. Inside staterooms sleep three to four and are approximately 169 square feet. The room has a queen bed, a single convertible sofa, and upper berth earth pull-down bed. There is no exterior view. All staterooms come with amenities that include custom premium blush Euro top mattress, fret 300 thread count 100% cotton linens, premium bath towels, a 43-inch LCD flat screen TV with remote control, USB and USB-C 
ports, a full-length mirror, ample closet space, and Wi-Fi, which does have an additional fee required. The inside staterooms will feature a TV, desk, and sitting area with a couch. There's a heavy privacy curtain to separate the sitting and sleeping areas, and there's a full bathroom with a vanity sink, shower, and tub with a glass door. Elevated wooden bed frames for under bed storage of suitcases and other large items, and attractive yet functional cabinetry in the living area. And to the kids' delight, or adults, a celestial scene featuring original artwork and an enchanting message from the fairy godmother reveals itself when the upper earth bed is pulled down. This is applicable only for the staterooms that sleep for. For the Ocean View staterooms, there are multiple classes of them. They range from 218 to 237 square feet. The Ocean View staterooms are either equipped with one porthole or two, so make sure you verify that when you're booking your stateroom. The veranda staterooms will range in size from, from 243 to 284 square feet. This will also have a private veranda, and be aware, you're not allowed to smoke on your veranda. Disney Wish Maiden Voyage will be a five-night Bahamian cruise from Port Canaveral. There will be ports of call in Nassau, Bahamas, and Disney's Castaway Key, which is their private island. That means there will be also two days at sea. The beginning price for that is $5,769. That is for the inside stateroom. The beginning price for Ocean View is $59.69. The veranda, $63.69. And beginning price for concierge is $9,439 for the inaugural cruise. The three-night Bahamian cruise will leave from Port Canaveral and will also call on Nassau and Disney's Castaway Key. That means you, there will not be any sea days. Those sailings begin at $1,827. And they will go up from there. Right now, I'm seeing the lowest ocean view price at $1,911. The beginning veranda price is $2,091. And the beginning concierge for the three-night Bahamian cruise is $2,716. This is pretty exciting that they're putting these on here. They never do this. The four-night Bahamian cruise will also call on Nassau Bahamas and Disney's Castaway Key. That means there will be one sea day on that cruise. The beginning price for that four-night is $2,061. And that is for the inside stateroom. The ocean view starting price is $2,000. 2,173, veranda at 2,413, and concierge at $3,184. Because of the high volume of platinum members and the fact that they are booking out in three tiers, I think that these prices will likely be increased by the time this gets to gold, silver, and general public bookings. But just keep an eye on that. Bookings require 20% deposit, unless they've changed that for the Disney Wish, which I have not seen, in that the inaugural cruise, that deposit is non-refundable. So if you're not sure if you'll be going on the inaugural cruise or not, I would be careful with that deposit because it is non-refundable. So what does that price get you? What are you paying for and what do you get? What are you paying for? What's included on a Disney cruise? Well, let's take a look at that. Your Disney cruise includes Broadway quality shows. Enjoy original Disney productions or live acts during your cruise. They also have fireworks at sea on most itineraries and they are the only cruise line that has permission to do fireworks at sea. Character experience Experiences are included. Movie screenings with first run and popular Disney movies and their two theaters are included. The pools, water slides, splash zones, and waiting pools are also included. Lunch and dinner include table service dining, quick service bites, and 24-hour room service. 24-hour room service is included, but most cruisers recommend having a one or two dollar tip per item ready for the room service attendant. Snacks are included at quick service bites, 24-hour room service, and soft service ice cream. Some people don't know, but in the adult coffee shop there are also some treats in there in their little display case. Unlimited coffee, tea, and soda on the decks and at table restaurants are included. If you order soda through room service, it'll come in a can and you'll have to pay for it. That's the same if you order it at the movie theater. So if you want free soda, just go up to the deck and get some there. Kids Club are also included. The Disney's Oceaneer Club and Oceaneer Lab is for ages 3 to 12 years old. Edge is for 11 to 14 years old. And Vibe is 14 to 17 years old. And most kids really love the Kids Club. And honestly, I can't wait to go into the Imagineering Lab and try out some of the new toys in there. Nightclubs, lounge, and live music, adults only pool and whirlpool spa, and fitness center are also included. The private island with family beach, adult exclusive beach, water slides, and splash zones, entertainment with live music, character experiences, and the kids and teen clubs, castaway key 5k run with finisher medallion, and adult exclusive yoga are also included. It's super exciting to see these starting prices posted today. One, just because it's unprecedented, and two, because that means we are finally getting close closer to sailing and the inaugural cruise of the Disney Wish. Let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about. I know there's some Disney pros out there, so if I forgot anything, please let me know. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you real soon with some more Disney's.